Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, as we know, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury will no longer be going ahead on July 24th. Now, the projected date seems to be October 9th. So, that is a long period of time to be pushing it back, especially considering they put this one together quite quickly. I mean, AJ Fury kind of fell apart, even though there was really no chance of that happening, given what unfolded following a potential announcement. I mean, they said they were literally over the line. Then all of a sudden, this happened. But it was a quick turnaround, and now they are going to wait until October 9th. Now, there are talks about the ticket sales that they weren't all that impressive, so that could have been a factor, and maybe someone needs more time. And obviously, Fury, it was his camp that had positive tests, not Deontay Wilder's. Now, Wilder wasn't happy because he says that he is being essentially punished again through no fault of his own. And apparently Joe Parker was seen at UFC when Conor McGregor was fighting Dustin Poirot. So, I mean, it does kind of speak to the fact that Joe Parker is normally in camp with Tyson Fury, yet he was at a major event. So if there were any complications, you wouldn't imagine he'd be showing up at an event like that unless he hadn't been in contact with those guys for a period of time. If not, then he should not have been at that event. Still, moving forwards, what does this mean for the heavyweight division? What does it mean for, say, AJ, Dillian White, and other fighters in the heavyweight division? Because that is going to be 20 months around when Tyson Fury defends against Deontay Wilder since he won the first fight, or second fight, since he became world champion. So, he will be defending the WBC world title for the first time, and that's 20 months after winning it. So that is a lengthy period. Normally defences do come quite quickly. I mean, when you think about the fact that they were looking to make this in June, July last year, it has been a long time getting this fight done. And it is holding up the WBC rankings, and more specifically, Dillian White and his opportunity with all of this happening. Will it happen on October 9th? That is the big question. I mean, Eddie Hearn was talking about it. He never believed July 24th was going to come off. And maybe he is sceptical also about October 9th. I mean, if you look at this logically, it seems like this fight is pretty doomed. Supposed to happen in June, July, then supposed to happen in like August, September, then December. I mean, July 24th this year, they had a date, they had a venue. Everything was being sorted, even the undercard was being put together, yet it did not come off. So is it going to happen in October? And how much longer can they keep the other challengers waiting for their opportunity? Because there are going to be challengers behind Dillian White, who want an opportunity to fight for the WBC world title, yet White has to be above them and ahead of them, yet there is still Deontay Wilder to be faced for Tyson Fury. and. He's going to try and make Undisputed. That is a potential fight after the trilogy. And I'm not going to lie, a mandatory could come in Dillian White, and realistically, it should do. I know we want to see Tyson Fury versus AJ, and hopefully that can happen next year. But after five months of lengthy negotiations, I'm sure many of us are not going to be holding out hope of it actually coming off. Nevertheless, that's going to be the one we want, but if you look at it from the WBC's point of view, they should be calling a mandatory. You'd be thinking that Dillian White is in that position to go on and face Tyson Fury, or at least the winner of the trilogy fight, which I would imagine will be Tyson Fury. I mean, I know that Wilder has a little bit more time now to prepare, to work with his coach a little bit longer, but he's not going to pick up all that much in a few months and I'm sure he hasn't been able to in the time he's had since that second fight with Fury. He needs experience in the ring. It's all very well doing it in sparring and training. It is different in there with an elite level heavyweight. So I don't really see how he can make all that many improvements over that period of time. And at this stage, what is he going to learn? I mean, he can if he's willing to commit to it, but he can't see what works and what doesn't work in the boxing ring because he hasn't been in there since the second Tyson Fury fight. 
And all in all, I'm wondering about this trilogy fight. I'm wondering about Tyson Fury. What is going on? What is happening? I mean, I know that they cannot avoid certain things that happen. Some things are out of their control. But it's just strange how this fight is constantly moving back. At one point, it wasn't even going to happen. Then all of a sudden, it is. But it's off again. I mean, they're looking for a new date. October 9th is the one they are working towards. But, I mean, considering what has happened in the past, are we even sure it is going to happen? And if ticket sales have anything to do with it, that isn't going to improve because if the intrigue isn't there, then it's not there. They are not going to be able to build it over the course of the next couple of months. Especially after Anthony Joshua has fought as well. Everyone is going to be looking to that one because it's new. It's interesting. It's Usyk coming up from Cruiserweight. Former undisputed cruiserweight champion, yes, he hasn't looked brilliant at heavyweight, but still, it is a different kind of dynamic, and that will intrigue and excite fans, will want to tune in. Wilder Fury kind of feels like it's done, it's happened, it's yesterday's news, so we don't really need to see it again, but nevertheless, that is a fight we will be getting. It will happen at some point, I'm not entirely sure when, I mean, Fury could do all manner of things, you never know what he is going to do, he could vacate, he could try and go and fight someone else, we don't know at this point, I mean I'm sure developments will happen over the coming weeks, but anyway guys what are your thoughts on this, make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, also leave a like and grab that subscribe button, thanks guys.